Welcome back to Muffy Malone Brewing, where today we're going to use sourdough starter to brew a raspberry blonde ale. For this beer, we're going to be aiming for a pre-boil gravity of 1036 and an original gravity of 1046, which should give us an ABV of about 4.9. We'll be aiming for 22 IBUs for the beer. And where the biggest flavour difference I'm hoping will come from this beer will be from this, which is a sourdough starter, which I last night combined with a bit of dry malt extract, got it started again. And I'm hoping that we'll get some different flavours from the beer that you wouldn't normally taste in a blonde ale. For the fermentation for this beer, I plan to do something a little bit different to what I would normally do, because I have actually tried to brew a few beers with sourdough starter before and one thing that I have learned is that it's quite an aggressive fermentation which gives off sometimes a bit of a funky farmy like flavour to the beer. So what I'm going to do is ferment at 8 days at 16 degrees which is quite low to try and help slow the fermentation down a little bit. And then I'm going to rack off the beer into a fresh fermenter, which is where I will flavour with the raspberries. And at that point, I'll raise up the fermentation to 20 degrees to help finish the beer off. And then I'm going to cold crash for about 24 hours to let everything settle and hopefully be left with a clean and crisp beer at the end. For the hops for this beer, the bittering hops that we'll be using today will be Cascade and Simcoe. And then we're going to do a fairly heavy dry hop with Citra and Galaxy hops. made with the sourdough starter. So this beer turned out with a final gravity of 10.15 for 4.1% ABV. Um, that gave us an apparent attenuation of 66%. Um, I was expecting to get about an 80% attenuation because in the past when I was doing some trials with the yeast, uh, that's the kind of results that I got. Um, but it had been washed and used again, so uh, it possibly might have been a starter error. But I'm thinking more than likely because I racked the beer off after eight days, um, that's probably one of the main reasons why I didn't get to full attenuation. So it's probably something that I won't do in the future. Um, but in terms of the colour of the beer, it's got a really nice sort of off red dark colour. Um, it's quite hazy, but uh, 
when I've been playing around with wild yeast, it, uh, it doesn't really seem to clear up. So this is about four weeks of age. And as you can see, it's still quite, um, quite hazy. So I don't think it's gonna clear up any more than that. In terms of the smell, it's it's got a quite a, a good neutral smell. Like there's no really like off flavors coming off of it. You do get a bit of a sour sherbety type character coming off of the nose, but um, smells quite clean and not super dirty, which is really good because some wild yeasts can give you quite a off flavor. So let's have a taste. So flavor wise, it's quite crisp um, and also quite dry, which I was expecting it to be a little bit sweeter because we did fall a bit short um, on our fermentation. But it is still quite dry, which I really like because I was hoping not to get something super sweet. Uh, the, the raspberry flavor is apparent, but not dominating. The, the flavor that's probably right there on the forefront is you get a really nice sherbet-y flavor, um, which I really like about the beer. It makes it really sessionable and really Moorish. So the overall, the flavor is quite balanced because it does finish quite dry, but you do get that like sweet sherbet -y start. So I think that's really cool about the beer. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to call that a win. I think that's a, a really crushable beer. I'll definitely do it again. Um, awesome to play with the sourdough starter. I, I hope you've all enjoyed it. Um, I'd love to go into a bit more depth with the sourdough starter, so I think I'll definitely do another beer with the sourdough starter and maybe talk a little bit more about how I created my yeast culture to be ready to ferment beer um, because I didn't just tip in sourdough starter. I'd used a yeast um, from a beer that had previously had just a sourdough starter into it. So let me know if you would like to see any specific flavor of beer with a sourdough starter and hopefully we can create some really cool beers with it. But for now, we'll enjoy this Raspberry Blonde and I will see you at the next video. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and leave a comment and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.